sir, you do not have permission to my door. Florida law does not specifically require drivers to roll down their windows during a traffic stop. However, it is generally expected that drivers cooperate with law enforcement officers. Rolling down the window is often necessary to provide documentation, like your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance, or to communicate clearly with the officer. Refusing to roll down the window could escalate the situation or lead to legal consequences, as officers might view it as non-compliance. It's advisable to at least roll the window down far enough to communicate and pass documents through if needed. If you have specific concerns, like protecting your rights, it's always good to remain polite and cooperative while asserting your legal boundaries. Sir, you do not have permission to open my door. Well, you wouldn't roll the window down. I don't have to roll the window down. Give me my paperwork. Like I do not have to roll my window down, sir. I'd like to see your I need You're to see your supervisor. I am the supervisor. I need to see your supervisor. Please close my door and don't touch my property again. Can I have my paperwork, Sir, please? I saw you commit a traffic infraction. I did not commit a traffic infraction. We can go one and two. You're going to give me an ultimatum now? All right. Now, I'm at the airport. I'm driving slowly around the thing. Sir, I saw you stop. Where? I researched it and drive. No. He's, now he's gonna make up something that I stopped when I never stopped. I did, at one point I did stop when my blood sugar was feeling low. Now this, these two officers now are, have opened my door against my will. Go ahead, what else you got? You're gonna, now he's gonna threaten me with an ultimatum. He's opened my door against my will. Uh, they tried to force me to roll down my window. Florida law states I do not have to roll down my window. Actually you do because you have to- Actually I don't. Present, exactly, I can present it at the window. No, no, that's Sir, read the law, it's right there in your hand. I have handed him the law, the law is right in his hand, he refuses to read the law that he's supposed to obey. Sir, are you gonna obey the law or not? What is your name and badge number? I am Sergeant Finley, badge number 23. Sergeant Finley, badge number 23, doesn't know the laws he's supposed to enforce. This constable with Calgary Police Department out of Canada pulls the man over because the car is registered to a female. Note it is not reported stolen. Makes you ask the question, is it illegal to drive a car that is registered to a female? No, it is not illegal to drive a car registered to someone else including a female, as long as you have their permission, the car is properly registered and insured, and you have a valid driver's license. Under Canada's Traffic Safety Act, you are required to provide identification when requested by law enforcement during a traffic stop. This typically includes a valid driver's license, vehicle registration, and proof of insurance. Refusing to provide identification can lead to legal consequences. Always comply with these requests to avoid potential penalties. Hold on your window, sir. No, nah, I can hear you. What's up? Okay, well, Constable Lane with Calgary Police, the reason why we're stopping is because the vehicle's registered to a female and you're obviously a male, so can I see your driver's license? Nah, man, it's not. Is the report stolen? Can I see your driver's license? No, no, no. No, no, you don't run things here. You work for me until I break the law, mister. So I'm going to ask you again, is the car reported stolen? No, but I'll Okay, well, then there's no uh, reasonable or articulable suspicion. Actually, let me let me explain something to you, sir. Because the vehicle's registered to a female... It doesn't matter. Can I speak or... Well, you can say whatever. You can cop explain all you want, but... You're a male, which means you need to identify yourself under the Traffic Safety Act. Or no, I don't. arrest you. Yeah, okay, then you can arrest me because I've done nothing wrong. Go ahead and step out of the car. Unlock the car. What's your name and badge number? Call a sergeant Unlock right now. I'm not unlocking my door. What are you talking about? Unlock Call a sergeant. 1439. He's refusing to open the door. We're going to have to place him under Call a sergeant. I haven't done anything wrong. What the fuck are you talking about? Unlock the door. What crime have I committed? Under the TSA, you need to identify yourself. and you're If I'm suspected of a crime. Nope. Yes, it is. I know the law. Unlock the door. We're going to break the window. You're going to break my window for me not doing anything wrong? Unlock the door, All we sir. want is your documents, man. For what? You my documents? Is this Nazi Germany? Hold on, what's... Is this Nazi Germany? No, this is not Nazi You guys are live on YouTube. Okay, you're live on YouTube, hey, just so you know. If you're Perfect. not going to produce your ID, then what's your name? I can produce my ID, but I haven't done anything wrong. That's what I'm trying to... I'm trying to talk to you, but this guy's escalating it. Do you understand what he's asking? He's saying he's going to break my window because I've done nothing wrong because th uh, this is this car is registered, he's saying, to a female. So what? So we're allowed doing a check on documents because it's not registered. Okay, call the female it's registered to then. I'm not going to help you with your so investigation. We need, so we need to ID you to see who you are. What does that matter? How is me... Okay, if the car is registered to a female, right? 
How is that gonna, how is my license or my ID gonna tell you who I am? Like, how is that gonna help the situation? Under the Traffic Safety Act, you have to identify yourself. If I'm lawfully pulled over, I've already been to court for this. You so you, you're you gonna lose your badge. What's your name and badge number? I'm not worried about it. I've already got Perfect. The okay. To no, you didn't. S. What's your La name? Lajean. Yep. You got S. Lajean is a tyrant, What's thug. My name, I'll give you my first name. Sure. Okay. What? Look at him put on his gloves. I haven't done anything what? wrong. This is how you guys treat... Who do you listen to if one officer says you're detained, but the other says you're free to go? If one officer says you're detained while another says you're free to go, it can be confusing. In such situations, it's best to clarify the situation calmly and directly. Here's how you might handle it. 1. Ask for clarification. 2. Wait for a clear response. 3. Understand detention. 4. Stay polite and cooperative. Can Officer Ashley detain the auditor based on an anonymous call? Reasonable suspicion requirement. Law enforcement officers can detain someone temporarily if they have reasonable suspicion that the person is involved in criminal activity. However, an anonymous call alone may not always provide sufficient basis for reasonable suspicion unless it includes specific and credible details that can be independently verified by the officer. Verification of the call If the anonymous tip lacks detailed or verifiable information, describing the person's behavior or a specific crime, the officer may not have enough legal grounds to detain someone. Two. Does the auditor have to present identification? Depends on state laws. In Stop and Identify states, individuals are required to provide their name and sometimes identification if there is reasonable suspicion of involvement in a crime. In non Stop and Identify states, you are generally not required to provide identification unless you're driving or are under arrest. As the video continues, Ashley's fellow officer says he's free to go but Ashley says he's detained. Is there a reason you're just walking around recording? Is there a reason I'm doing a job? Yeah, to make money. Okay, uh, can people have just been calling just thinking it's kind of weird. It's journalism, I'm sorry. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, it's protected under the First Amendment, so. Uh, I'm not saying you're not. Sorry about that. All right, but hold on, hold on. Am I being detained? Yeah, right now. For I'm what, for which, which crime? So I'm further investigating why you're walking what around. What crime? That's not a crime. Walking around okay, isn't a crime. You have to articulate a crime before you can okay, detain but I can me. Also detain anyone. Supervisor. Supervisor. Yep. You can't detain just anyone. You have to articulate a crime. I can detain you're incorrect. While I, while I further Get your supervisor and let's let's find out. Okay. Okay. Great, Name and badge number. Officer Ashley Hands. You just badge your supervisor. Badge number eight six one. Thank you. Do you have your ID on you? Oh, I do not. Can you dispatch a supervisor to my location? Hello. So, I'm assuming he's the one that complained? No. I don't even know who complained. It came out as anonymous. This is a constitutionally protected activity, so I'm being harassed right now, basically. My neighbors are calling me saying, hey, there's some dude running around. Recording, yeah. So I showed up because I'm like, oh, dude. In public, on the, on the public I, sidewalk. Sir, I'm not saying you're not You are. Recording. You are. By your presence here, okay. bothering me while I'm working is telling me I'm not allowed to do this. Okay. I'm sorry you feel that way. Okay. But I am investigating why we're getting calls about someone walking around. Walking around isn't a crime, though. I never said it was a crime, but I still so have you, the right to no, detain. No, you do not. Okay. 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 So I'm being illegally detained right now, is what you're telling you me. Want to say, okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. But you are failure. You're not identifying vicious behavior. Or Suspicious isn't a crime. You have to identify yourself. I do not. Okay. Suspicious is not a crime. Okay. Hello, sir. How Name and badge number, please. My name is Corporal Tim Bureau. My officer number is 674. Thank you. Jackson Police Department. Thank you. Do you live around here? I'm not answering any questions. Okay. Well, you have a nice day then, okay? Thank you. Oh. Am I free to go? Oh, you didn't? So he's yeah, you've been free to go this whole time. And she told me I've been detained. Oh, okay. No. Twice now. Yeah. So I'm detained? Well, you want a supervisor. Am I, am I detained? I'm trying to identify you. That's not happening. Am I detained? Well... At the end of the day, I'm trying to identify you. That's, that's not my problem. I don't have to further your investigation for you. That's your job. So if you want to find out who I am, you go run photo arrays, whatever you want to do. Yeah, because I, apparently, you have no idea how it works. Oh. You can't walk up to a, a citizen not committing a crime and demand ID. That's, that's not how this works. Okay. It's 
you know the lawnmower. I do, actually. It turns out that I do. Man. Mike's in the lawnmower. He's on his way. And we'll talk with you. Hard to believe a citizen out here would actually have a degree and know what they're talking about, huh? It's all right. We're, we're going to stop all this corruption. You doing all right? I don't answer questions. Okay. Especially when I'm being illegally detained. Well, I already told you you're free to go. So if you'd like to leave. Am I free to go? If you want to go, you don't want to talk to a supervisor? Am I free to go or am I detained? I, I need, I need, a, I need an ahead. answer. I'm, I'm not detained. Just so you know, sir, this is the Jackson Police Department. So there's Great. There's and everything, the fence and everything. Great. Don't enter into that fence That's crowd. fine. So I'm on the sidewalk. It's where I've been the whole time before I was harassed. More than welcome to stay there. So, Go. once again, you've been proven wrong by your own coworker here. You have a great day, sir. I, I'm having a great day. Me too. I'm not breaking the law. Thank you for watching. If you would like these videos to circulate more to educate more people, please like the video, which helps with the algorithm. You can also help educate in the comments down below. Until next time.